Why no missiles in U-2 spy plane? If you think what's the point of having missiles in a reconnaissance aircraft, you're as wrong as this guy was about the weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. In reality, Curtis Lemme, commander of Strategic Air Command, rejected the Kelly Johnson CL-282 design that would culminate in the U-2 by saying he has no interest in an airplane without wheels and guns. Lockheed took this to the heart, yet didn't give a fuck about it and didn't add any gun or wheels, but proposed the 315B design, a U-2 that would be armed with AGM-53 Condor air-to-surface missiles to engage enemy warships at a distances of up to 60 miles. The Condor was intended to carry both conventional and nuclear warhead, which would have made the U-2 a nuclear attack aircraft. But sometimes, things don't go as planned, the order for 250 missiles was cancelled along with the program because missile had some issues and setbacks, like unreliable propulsion system and extremely high cost of putting capable data link system. Like the missiles, the 315 BU-2 would also never make it into service, neither with Air Force nor with US Navy.